Om Shum Shukraya Namaha Hi, welcome. Today we're going to make the Venus Yantra. It's Friday, Venus's day. So let's see, take a piece of paper and we're going to find the center. So if some of you know how to do this now, made a few yantras, go ahead and do the first stages. If you're new to this, follow along step by step. And I have a book, it's called Nine Designs for Inner Peace. And that has all the planetary yantras in. So if it's confusing on YouTube, totally understand. Maybe the aid of the book would be good. All right, but for those of you who are happy to follow along like this, we have our paper. We just did a little crisscross through the center to, f to find out where the center of the paper is. And I'm also going to make a, an om, an om sign at the very top of the paper, just so I always know where the top is. When we make the yantra, we often come to the top and then work clockwise. All right, so once you've made that crisscross, take your compass, open it about an inch, and then just there at that point where the criss and cross happen, you're going to place the metal of the compass and draw a circle. This is a guiding circle. Once you have your circle, go ahead and erase the original crisscross lines. Sitting by a window here. Hope it's not too many shadows for you. All right. Okay, once you have your circle and you can still see the hole left over from the compass, take your ruler again and Make a line down through your paper. Now I have this interesting paper here today. It has this deckled feathered edges, see? Maybe with the feathered edges it's a little harder to line up this ruler. However, give it a go. If you have a straight edge, I think it's going to be easier for you. Sometimes I actually will just see, is my pencil actually going to go through that hole? Draw that straight line, then, you know, I'm going to make sure I can really feel that compass hole. It's very important. Okay. You want to really feel your pencil go into the hole. Then you know your lines are going through the center. See, everything about a yantra is to do with the center. It's either going through the center, towards the center, away from the center. So we might as well get the center in the center, okay? So there's the... This ruler is amazing, grid ruler. Okay? And... Make sure it goes through the hole. So now you have these two guidelines. So these are called the vertical and horizontal guidelines. Once you have those, take your compass again and place the metal on one spot. See where the horizontal line touches the circle? And then the lead, open up the compass Place the lead at the intersection, the point where the vertical line touches the circle. So see, there's nothing going through the center, just on the sides of the circle. And then you're going to just see, oh good, see it touches well. Okay, then this is how you, you find the true diagonals. So we're going to keep going around, put this metal point at the intersection, 
the circle and the guidelines. So we'll do the mantra again at the end, but let's do it now. Om Shum Shukraya Namaha Om Shum Shukraya Namaha Om Shum Shukraya So Shukra is another name for Venus. All right, so now I have those crisscrosses. I have this fabulous center. I'm drawing a straight line through. So I'll do that both ways, so both diagonal lines. It's worth getting this good, like I said. Everything is about the center, especially in the Venus Yantra with its intricate center design. All right. Okay, so once you have that, we're going to make the outer circle. Open up your compass. This will be a wide circle. It's going to contain the whole yantra. So make it a little bit bigger than you'd like your yantra to be. So if you're not sure what size to do it on your paper, just make sure you have some room outside the circle because if you're going to frame your yantra, you need a little space, right? Next, we're going to connect the diagonal lines as they touch the circle. This will create the square. So again, this is pretty important to get straight, okay? So I look like I'm taking my time because I really do want it to be parallel to the center. So Venus, Venus is the planet. Of course, it's the planet of love. Romance, beauty, positivity. Who doesn't need more of these qualities in their life, huh? Okay, and then the last one. It's also for a clear mind. You know, sometimes our perception can be kind of foggy just because our senses are overwhelmed. So Venus brings discernment, clear mind, Mental clarity. Okay, so once you have your square, we're going to find out where the gates go. There's a lot of pencil sharpening happening here. I keep my point, point pointed on my pencil. All right, but actually I'm gonna take my compass and to find out where to put the gates, I'm going to put my compass on one side, okay? So the compass is on one half of the outer edge of the square. And then depending on the size of your paper, you can either swing the compass up or down it can be one or the other, but for today I'll do both, so you get a sense of that, up or down. And then where you had the lead, now you're going to have the, comp the metal. So now go ahead and put your lead through that mark, essentially making a crisscross. So I have two new crisscrosses on my piece of paper. If you don't happen to have room outside, it doesn't matter, you can just have one crisscross. Then take your ruler, pencil and ruler, 
Line it up with the middle of your yantra. I have to tell you that it's lining up very well today. I'm happy about it. Like I said, for this yantra, it does seem to make a difference, you know? Okay, and then I've gone through the crisscrosses and I'm drawing a line from the edge of the square to the edge of the circle. So one short line. Once I've done that once, I can repeat the step with a little shortcut. So what I'm going to do is take my compass, close the compass down, put the metal at the center, put the lead on the side. Okay, so hoping you can see that. So now I have that fixed width. And I'm going to go to the other side of the square, make a mark. And then I'm going to go around all of the sides, making marks. Om Shum Shukraya Namaha. So the mantra is like you're invoking Venus and you're calling, it's actually him in this instance. It's like a god, right? The planet as a deity, calling him down, calling his wisdom, calling his love, reminding you of the aspects of yourself that are Venus. And then when you remember that about yourself, you're going to invite more of that into your life. So people will start complimenting you. Life generally gets better with more Venus. Happy Venus. Smiling, uplifting. Okay, so I made the marks and now I'm drawing these short lines from the edge of the square to the edge of the circle. So the counseling I do with the yantras actually helps you find out where Venus is in your life. Like what is its function in your life? For me, it's something to do with my role as teacher, which is kind of cool. Definitely felt much happier once I started teaching more. Teaching through art, beauty, wisdom, kind of ancient teachings. So if you're curious about that, definitely get in touch and we can look at your Venus. All right. So once you have these shapes, we're going to add the top. So we're going to, it's kind of like crossing the T's. The very outer portion where those lines touch the circle. And actually what I'm most interested in is keeping it parallel to the center of the yantra. So I'm going to go around. And again, I'm taking my time. I don't want to rush. I don't want to have the whole thing wonky. Especially for this yantra. Venus is also nature, like the beauty of nature, harmony in nature. So that idea of getting out and smelling the roses is very Venusian, really appeals to the senses. It's like any way you can use the senses as a form of meditation. So meditation here would mean centering you. This is continued in part two.